Hey guys, it's me again. So for the past week or so, I've been messing around with terrain generation settings in Minecraft, and I've put together some settings that are meant to resemble vanilla settings, but mostly they just look very big. So if we go ahead and make a new world, and we hit more world options and import settings, and we put in this JSON file, I've called it terrain overhaul. You'll get this little warning message, just ignore that. Go ahead and click yes, or I agree to everything. You can change the seed to whatever you like. John Wick took all my wee bucks. And when you create this new world, again, just hit proceed. And after a few short centuries, the world will eventually generate. Full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anybody's computer catching on fire. But if we take a look around here, like I mentioned before, the terrain is big. It's just massive. So I tried my best to replicate all vanilla structures in the same way that they're sort of spread around the world in regular vanilla worlds, just with this really gigantic sort of floating islands noise settings. It's got all the cool biomes in here. We can do a slash locate biome. Um, Badlands, maybe? The nearest Badlands is 6,000 blocks away. And apparently I'm in the Badlands right now, which I'm not really seeing a whole lot of- Oh, here we go. Uh, is that it? Oh, up here. There's some more Badlands terrain. Looks pretty good, I think. Here, let's go visit another biome. These turn out to be looking really crazy. Ah, here it is. So some of these are more like blobs and not spikes. I'm guessing that's because, yep, this is at the world height already. Some of them form these gigantic sort of disconnected chains of ice, which look really, really cool in my opinion. Wait a minute. What is this? I've never seen this before. Shipwreck? Or something? Okay, so since this is part of the warm ocean biome, there is a shipwreck here, but the world height cut it off. Hopefully this one will be good. Giant Tree Taiga Hills. So this one looks like it's quite a bit lower down. I also heavily modified the nether and the end. The nether is especially just something else. But I won't show those in this video because I think those are just genuinely better to experience firsthand. So go ahead and download the JSON file. Check out one of these worlds. I would not recommend playing like this in survival just because it would be impractical, but it is doable. I've included all of the regular vanilla things, so you can complete the game, you can beat the Ender Dragon, but let's just say it would be a little bit difficult. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in the next one. One quick thing that I forgot to mention is that I did all this through misode.github.io. It's a really great site. It gives you way too many options for how you want to customize terrain and world generation. Play around with it if you like, make your own cool stuff, and yeah, I'll leave this link in the description. All right, bye.